It's actually great for the sport. And oh. Deontay Wilder and Anthony Joshua, both of those gentlemen have been so gracious to join our show a couple of times. I feel like I need to defend the honor of Mr. Ruiz here. There are so many people that look at him as a fighter, and yes, he may be shaped like Butterbean, but they want to body shame him and make it seem like he's not capable of a moment that he was able to achieve. This is an accomplished fighter. He's been at his entire career. He's only had one loss. Just because you didn't pay for the fight, just because most people aren't deeply following the heavyweight class, we wanted to treat him like a tomato can. And then he came out and he showed out on the big stage. So I want to give him props. Now let's talk about what I think this really cost Anthony Joshua. You remember when he was on the show and yep. I asked him about the amazing contract that Canelo got with the zone, the $300 yep. million. Dollars, and I love the way his face lit up. Oh, I yeah. think losing this fight cost him at least $100 million. Let me say that again. Losing this fight, I believe, cost him at least $100 million. Because this was his final fight with the zone. Now yep. he's trying to get a new contract. His next fight ain't Wilder. Wilder fighting Fury, and all of a sudden, we're going to look up at 12 months, and all three of those belts are going to be on one shoulder, one shoulder, one waist of one Deontay Wilder. This has been an amazing undertaking in the heavyweight division. Well, people talk about Drake a lot during the NBA Finals, and there's this thing called the Drake curse, which I think Drake gets unfairly criticized for you know because he's like me he's a dicey <laughs> fan he just likes different teams whenever he likes them and i'm like the same way <laughs> well this did not go well for the drake curse because anthony joshua tweeted this about to break the curse in a picture with him and drake jalen i don't really believe in the drake curse but this isn't helping do you believe the drake curse is real i don't believe it's real but this isn't helping but i do believe it's one thing to think something. It's another thing to speak it in existence. And I tell this to people all of the time. I'm sick. I'm tired. I'm lonely. I can't get it done. You think about all of the things that may lead to failure, but it's another thing when you actually say them into the atmosphere. And for him to post that lets you know that he was conscious. Also, if you're Drake, you really don't like that post because you're no. attaching him to the curse. And then all of a sudden you get dropped. And now we are talking about whether the curse is real or not. Well, if the Raptors win the NBA finals, we will finally do away forever. Oh, no, curse. that's not forever. fair. Forever. If the that's Raptors not win fair. the final, that's the curse is, is broken. That is fair. What are you talking about? He's the number one Raptors fan and they made it to the finals for the first time in 25 years. To me, that helps bury the curse. Okay.